So this nice package just arrived in the uh, in the post today. I wanted to share this with you. This is something I discovered just earlier this week. The scroll bit. So I don't know. Uh, you might have seen a video that I did a few weeks ago. Um, which was a similar device to this for the Raspberry Pi which is called the scroll scroll P hat it's called from Pi Maroni and this one is the scroll bit so this this one is actually designed to work with the BBC micro bit so the it's got the matching connector so you can plug it in here and then you have this array of LEDs which has a, a grid which is 7 by 17 so 7, seven by 17 array of white LEDs and um, if you saw the other video so the scroll P hat uh, the original one was a bit a bit smaller so we've got 5 by 11 and um, you can get a bigger version of this now there's there's also a scroll P hat HD um, which is basically the same grid array as this um, so this is this is really nice because one of the th things that's really frustrating about the micro bit I think is its tiny display you know this this 5 by 5 grid of uh, of LEDs on the device itself it really limits what you can do with the thing and so I'm looking forward to firing this up um, it, this comes with a, a Python library so you can write software in Python to drive the LEDs and do scrolling and light the pixels and so on and so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna get this loaded up with Python and we'll um, write some Python code and make this light up and display something. As an aside, uh, if you don't like programming in Python, you can also program the scroll bit through the make code site. So this is the blocks language with underlying JavaScript. So I'll just show you how to install the scroll bit in uh, make code. So if we click on advanced and we're going to do add package and now you can type in scroll bit it will search the online libraries now we go we select the scroll bit driver and now it's updated the UI so it's possible to see the the scroll bit functions so here under the scroll bit tag now you've got various options so for example we wanted to display some text on the micro bit screen So we can now download our file into the micro bit. just show you what that looks like actually on the micro bit itself
as another example, what we can do is display a, uh, an icon on the scroll bit display. So let's have a look at that. So we'll pick the icon. So we've got a heart icon and we'll have to use this tag display your changes to force it to update the display this time. We'll just download that. There we go, so it puts a heart on the top left of the display. And it'll do that every time we reboot it now. So another thing that we might do is to write some pixels to the display. So we can light up each individual pixel on the display if we want to. So if I start off by adding a loop So what I'm going to do is put a loop inside a loop so that I can go across the rows and the columns. So this outer one is going to be my column index, the inner one is going to be the row. So we've got 0 to 16, so 17 columns I'm going to do. Uh, hang on, I need to define a new loop here. Let's put a new loop in. OK, that's better. So I'll rename this one to row. And of course there are seven rows, so I go from 0 to 6. And I'm going to use this set pixel command now. So I'll insert my column and row variables into the set pixel. And I'll put, put a pause in as well so that there's a a little bit of time between plotting each dot, 200 milliseconds. And get rid of these because I'm not using them anymore. Um, and of course display changes to force the pixel to be on the screen. And we'll just download and see what that looks like. As you see it just goes round lighting up all the pixels one in turn so going along each row and making its way across all of the columns. And there we're done. Okay well so that's the make code site how you can use the scroll bit from uh, from make code so let's go and look at the um, micropython version now so to get the library for uh, the scroll bit you have to go to the github site and i'll put the link down below and you can download the zip file here so download this to your windows machine or mac or whatever and then unpack the file into a, a directory So you've got an examples directory and also the library itself. So the important thing here is the scroll bit.py, which is actually the functions that you're going to call that we're going to see in a moment. So here in the mu editor, I'm going to write some micropython to do what we just did with the set pixel. So I'm going to import from the scroll uh, scroll bit library 
going to import set pixel and I need show also I also need something from the microbit library so as with the make code environment I'm going to create some for loops here so my column is in the range of 17 so going from 0 to 16 and my row is going to go in the range 7 and then inside the loop I need to do a set pixel Oops. With my column and row Now I need to force it to display the change with show and then I'm going to wait for a little while so we've so it doesn't just fill the the screen up straight away so this is very much the same program that we just wrote in in make code and so we're going to build this in micropython on the microbit microbits not installed so let me plug it in so in a moment the micropython will be loaded and we can see what that looks like on the display So unfortunately what it looks like is there's an error so you see on the normal scroll uh, normal microbit display there's a an error message now and saying no module named scroll bit so no module named scroll bit. Um, so this is this is a common problem with uh, using external libraries. And let me show you how you get around it. So we'll just dismiss that window, and we'll look in the files tab here. So this allows you to copy files over into the micro bit. So I'm going to copy the scroll bit.py, which if you remember was the library that we downloaded from the internet. So we copy that onto the micro bit and then using the REPL, which is like a command interface, we can restart the micro bit now. So I did control D there to restart the micro bit. So this is the same functionality that we had working in the make code environment. The code goes along all of the columns from 0 to 16 along the top and visiting each column it goes down all of the rows from 0 to 6 so it gradually lights all of the pixels along the way across to the right hand side. So what we'll do now is we'll remove that code and instead what we'll do is scroll some text so we'll add a new function here this time we'll add scroll so we'll use this to scroll some text and We'll use some of the default parameters um, but if we set the the brightness of the display and we'll set the delay to 10 say to make it quite snappy and here we'll set the text that we're going to display Okay, and that should be enough so we can flash that code into the micro bit. A 
OK. OK, you can see in the window there, this is the problem that we've had earlier, that it now doesn't know the name of the module scroll bit. Because we've reflashed the memory, it's actually lost the contents of the memory. So we have to go back again into the Files tab. We can't see any files now. This is a problem that sometimes the Mew editor l loses the micro bit and you have to stop Mew and, and restart it again. So I'll just do that so that we can get it pointed back at the micro bit. OK, so Mew's restarted now and we'll look at the Files tab once again. And now we can see the scroll bit dot py again and we'll copy that back to the micro bit now that it's been reflashed and we'll look at the REPL and restart the micro bit As with make code, another thing that we can do is show an icon on the screen. So if we add another function imported from scroll bit, so we're going to say draw icon. Now what we'll do is we'll put an icon at zero zero so that in the top left corner of the scroll bit display and we'll put heart. We can set the brightness as well and of course use show to make it display and we'll flash the micro bit. Okay that didn't quite work so I'm having another go now so this time from the microbit library I want to import image which seems to be the thing that I need so now we do draw icon 00, zero as before and now we need image.heart okay and we'll try that A micro bit is flashing and now I'll do the trick with the scroll bit library I'll put a cut here so as not to bore you with that process again and again so there's the heart icon shown up in the top left hand corner at zero zero So another thing that we can do is actually embed the um, the icons inside scrolling text. So we saw some scrolling text just now, but well, so we'll go back to the scroll function. So now inside the text, so I'll write some text here. This is my scroll bit. From Pimeroni. But now we can put a special symbol in the squiggly brackets. So if we put skull, for example, in the squiggly brackets. So this is going to be interpreted not as text by the scroll bit library but it's actually going to put an, an icon in there one of the, their standard icons
So let's burn that into the micro bit. And this this time uh, Mu seems to have actually crashed. So we've got the, the spinny circle of doom here. But if we look at the, the micro bit, so it's scrolling nicely. So from Pimeroni. And then we get a nice little skull icon that scrolls past as well. So that's that's quite neat. You can embed different icons actually in the scrolling text. Yeah, so, so Mew has really crashed out on us here. Um, so this, I mean, the, the MicroPython environment's not ideal because you've got those problems with having to copy extra libraries onto the, the device after flashing it. And Mew sometimes fails and you have to stop it and restart it, which is kind of a pain. Um, but I, I like programming in Python and um, and it seems to be amenable to um, to more complex programs than the the uh, micro uh, micro bits make code environment. So I, I think I'm going to persevere with with micro Python. Oh yeah, so Mew has really, really stopped now. It needs to be closed down. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope I've given you some idea of what you can do with the the uh, scroll bit, which I think is quite a nice little display, and you know adds a lot of flexibility to to the micro bit. So um, tell me your thoughts in the comments below and um, it was good to get a video out after so many weeks so thanks for uh, thanks for watching